In a previous video, I showed the water setup we have in the camper van. It really just showed the touch points we have regularly, how to refill and reinstall the water jugs, and how to use the faucet, hose, and the shower. I got asked for a more detailed video of how the system works, so here we go. Here's a wiring diagram for the camper van, and here's a close-up of how the water pump is wired. Remember to always use fuses to protect your system. I made a replica of the water system that I have in my van. So here's the pump that I used. Just bought it off of Amazon. I'll include a link in the description. It runs off of 12 volts, so you wire 12 volts here. This goes to ground. This is the water line coming in. This is the water line going out. And you can have voltage to it at all times. This senses when you open your faucet or your spigot. Uh, there's a pressure sensor in here that's monitoring the pressure continuously of this line. And if it drops, it will turn on. There's a screw in the pump head that you can adjust uh, where that pressure trigger happens uh, and and that's it this is it for the whole water system now uh, if you want to you can add a filter like I did this is just an inline filter the water comes in here goes through the filter and comes out and there's a cap you can remove here you can clean out the filter and then put the cap back on you could leave your system just like that uh, you could also install like I did an additional switch in the 12 volt line this is just a simple rocker switch and the reason I did that and, and I would recommend doing that you just put that in the the 12 volt line here is because if you if you don't have a switch you always have 12 volts and this pump is always powered and that means if you accidentally get a leak in one of these points in your outlet uh, line then your pumps gonna turn on and you're gonna just flood your van instead uh, you can turn off power to the pump at times when you know you're not going to need water and then turn that switch on at times when you are using water. Now me, I've got three small kids and so I definitely wanted this extra safety feature to make sure they weren't playing with water or accidentally getting water right all over the inside of the van. Uh, what I have here is a voltage varying switch. So this one, uh, I was just playing around with a couple things here. You can vary the voltage because this is a DC pump. Voltage uh, corresponds to the speed that the pump runs at, which then means the pressure is different. So if you want a lower pressure, you can reduce the voltage that runs to the pump to get a lower pressure. Uh, I don't have that in my van. I was just playing around with that. I, I just have a rocker switch in my van. So. That's it, that's the system. Uh, really simple, very inexpensive, and it's been bulletproof for the last two years. I'll show you what this looks like inside my van. Okay, here's the system in the van, the back of my van, water jug. When I have these filled up, I put that center cap back in here so that it's sealed, make sure that goes in, because to get my water jugs in, I have to put them on their side, so I don't want water spilling out. And then once I have them in here, and pushed into place. Uh, I just reach up here and I take that cap off and then feed this hose into the jug. So where I have my equipment set up is you can see I have my inline water filter mounted underneath the shelf right there. There's the water pump and it runs right there to the battery. So it gets 12 volts from the battery and I have a switch that's mounted up above this uh, area on the on just this plywood I've got and it's just a rocker switch that turns on power to the water pump. I'm up inside of the van now underneath here is where the, the water jugs go I usually put two of them down there the water pump is mounted right below here and in this area is where I have the batteries and I'll show you where the water runs as well so right down there underneath here is where the water pump uh, pushes water I've got a just the hose that comes along the back side of my batteries and goes to the back side of this brass fitting which is right here so if there were power to the pump already and I turned this on it would uh, you know feed water like I mentioned I have a master switch right here for the pump that turns the pump on and off so both conditions have to be met there has to be power to the pump and there has to be a low pressure situation. I don't have any water in the line, so it's detecting low pressure, which is why it turned on. Anyway, you don't you don't have to have all of that extra stuff built in. You can just have power. 
you can just have power right to your pump and then your pump will detect when there's a low pressure situation aka uh, someone opened the valve or you can set it up with a switch like I've got uh, that turns the pump on if you want that extra control. We've got the water hooked up in the van through here. Can I try? That jug. If you don't spray me. Through the spigot. And this is our new shower. Can I have a jug if you don't spray me? I don't think I trust you. Woohoo! Shower! <laughs>